It's beer o'clock on Real Old Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Australia and it's a can from the Coastal Brewing Company and it's their Salito IPA described as a soft and fruity American style IPA and it's coming in at 6.8% ABV. 375 milliliter can. Massive thank you to Mick. The superstar American beer. American beer, that's because I read American on the can. Australian beer sender. Thank you very much, Mick. Um, always a fantastic thing to, to have a beer from yourself. You've been sending it to us now for, well, it feels like years now. It feels like years, probably the last 18 months, two years, probably. New South Wales beer. Let's get it out into a glass, see what we get. Oh, it's a hazy little number. Get some of this loveliness in the in the glass, some of this condition. Look at that. It looks terrific. Smells tremendous. It really does. In a massive kind of waft of them hops from this distance, from probably a good half a foot, a foot away. Hazy, amber in colour, good levels of carbonation rolling up the side of the glass, one finger white head, aroma. A bit of strawberries and cream mixed with pineapple, mixed with grapefruit. Oh, it smells really good, lots of mango coming through. I'm going to dive in. It smells tremendous. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Mick. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I like that. A little bit minty in its own weird way. Stone the Crow! Stone the Crow's what a great beer. It's, it's pineapple. Grapefruit, orange peel, some mango, soft fruits, those kind of pale stone fruits coming through. A little bit of sweetness to begin with, goes over to being all flavour in the middle, and then just a touch of bitterness on the back end, which we all like. That first minty flavour. Maybe it was just my imagination. Maybe it was a combination of what I'd eaten for tea and, and, and having my beer afterwards. Maybe a weird combination. But that mintiness was only in the first taste. It wasn't kind of carrying on in, in the second and third mouthfuls. Yeah, real punchy grapefruit flavours, orange peel, touch of mango, pineapple. Just the the flavours are just they just keep coming and coming and coming. And it's a it's a longing flavour that goes from the sweetness to begin with, there's a big long flavour in the middle, all the flavours I just mentioned, with a little bit of bitterness on the back end. Nice carbonation. Let's really whirl this beer around now. Get the aroma. It's really been dry hopped. It really has been dry hopped. It smells great. Absolutely fantastic. So New South Wales, uh, where are they exactly? Uh, not for sale. Oh, uh, not for sale in South Australia or Northern Territory. Yeah, uh, well, it was certainly wouldn't be sold in Wales. <laughs> it's nice to it's nice to be reviewing this beer uh, the other side of the world. Um, hopefully, I don't get caught. Um, hopefully, the Australians don't don't get me on a chartered flight and 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 fine me for drinking a beer out of the state. <laughs> but I don't think. I mean, I'm just having a laugh for you guys. Um, brewed in Forster, New South Wales, Australia. Beer that fits the bill. I like that. I'm ready to rate it. 
can looks good. I like the branding on the can. Uh, they got that independent brewer stamp on it. I think I just read this is version. Oh, two two units of alcohol, uh, Australian units. Um, yeah, lovely branding on the can. Lovely looking beer in the glass. Looks great when you wash it around. Fantastic aroma. Fantastic taste. I like this Coastal Brewing Company's Salito IPA. 6.8% ABV. Enough to give it a stone that grows. 9 out of 10. So 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers.